Hi guys, it is a gray, gloomy, depressing day here in the end times in paradise. Garfield, Texas here on this uh, humid Friday morning, September 21st, 2018. Do you believe it guys? We have made it to the last day of the summer of 2018 and the little dog and I need to go head down to Home Depot to buy a chain to keep a uh, 300 ton tree from falling uh, on my uninsured house. Before we do that, I'm just going to do what I do pretty much every morning and that's go on, uh, oh it's Friday morning, I actually uh, have a, an ecological meltdown roundup ramp, but before I dive into that, I'm just going to dive into my Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag today and guys is I would love to get into some of these what is it I think 134 comments on that obviously joke video I did yesterday about the deep state taking down uh, Sandy's environmental coffee house YouTube channel but uh you know, I, I just don't know after all these years whether to uh, whether to laugh or cry. Uh, if if I, I guess I should give myself some pretty good marks for being a performance artist uh, when I come on here, clue, clearly, clearly joking, uh, dripping with sarcasm and irony. Uh, and, and, and people uh, believing for one fucking minute that the deep state uh, taking down Sandy Shellis's uh, YouTube channel. Now actually the, the real story is, is actually much more horrific than the deep state and I, I, and I don't want to dive into it now so I'm just going to move on to, uh, I can't even remember which video this was in response to from Alert Tribes member Eco Cat Lady. Take it away, Eco Cat Lady. Uh, what's on your mind? <clears throat> so, imagine for a moment that the collapse was not imminent, that someone waved a magic wand, and now everything could go on like it has been with. No problems. Would you jump back into it all? Meaning, would you jump back into the matrix, into this culture is what she's talking about, I assume, by it all. Somehow, I don't think you would because on some level the collapse is not really the issue. It's just the thing that opened your eyes to the inherent meaninglessness, the inherent meaninglessness of our vapid society. And once your eyes are open, you cannot shut them again. We're like Nemo from the Matrix. We swallow that pill and now we know the truth. And that fact makes it impossible to go back to playing the game. In a sense, I think I'm very fortunate. I realized very early in life that it's all a crock. So I pretty much shunned it all before I ever had a chance to get seduced by the trappings. Running a folk roots music school was as close as I ever got to the game and even that proved to be too much for me. <coughs> I still go to music parties now and then. These days they're usually scheduled because somebody has died and I have no calluses left on my fingers and can barely remember the songs I used to know and I just can't relate to the people out there still trying to make it as musicians. So here's the thing, you can't go back 
you will never find a sense of belonging among people whose eyes are still shut. The only thing left to do is look for people whose eyes are open and try to deal with your own shit along the way because in a very real sense dealing with our own shit is really the only meaningful thing left to do. Well, that and to rejoice in the knowledge that there really, truly is no spoon. And if you don't know what that spoon reference to is about, uh, I guess you can go on YouTube and, and type in the Matrix spoon scene. Yes, the spoon is not real. Yep, yep, yep. Well, with that, I'm going to wrap up today's comment of the day, and we're going to head in, not into the mainstream media, we're going to head into my email box for today's ecological meltdown roundup rant as I see what's on the mind of mangabay.com. That coming up in one minute as the storm of the century continues to brew and the, and the 300 ton tree waits for my little Home Depot made in China chain to save my house. Bye guys.